Hello, and welcome to episode 105 of Legendary Recaps. We check in with our party as they are recovering from Riven's deadly departure from Greencrest. As they rest in Thane's home, studying and learning how to avoid the watchful eye of Riven as he uses his powers to try to find the location of the dragon orbs. Ultheon decides to use his own powers to scry on Bridget and hopefully learn her location. After a warning from Thane about dark magics that might interfere, he places down a magical circle to protect himself as he turns to peer into the crystal ball. It begins to pick up as you start to close in. You see a wide, long, old, well-traveled road impacted with ruts from many wagons or travelers and caravans that traveled that path. And then you hear the sounds of hoofbeats from multiple sources, a lot of them ramping up in speed. And then you hear the spinning of wheels, wagon wheels, and the crack of whip, and the shaking of chains, jingling, and the sounds of the bending and creaking of, of wood panels. Then you hear shrill shrieks and a howl of wolves moving through the wilderness. And then a large carriage kind of rides into view. Upon it, you see multiple individuals in armor, weapons, fighting swarms of bats and large winged creatures as they descend upon it. And you see Bridget on top fighting and defending this carriage as it rocks and as it makes its way through the... Uh, Splashing through water along this old road, crashing its way through old uh, undergrowth and vines. And then the wagon, as you kind of follow it and zoom in, getting closer and closer, and more clarity comes in. And it kind of follows the wagon as these creatures are attacking and they're slaughtering them. And it kind of runs into, ends at like a town, like a gate and a set of palisade walls with large defensive spike barriers, huge pikes protecting this small town. And you see as the creatures kind of disperse and fly off the road and dissipate. And then you notice that your magic ward activates and there's a strange aura of dark magic that kind of leaks in the room and you realize that you're standing alone in this void it's the chamber that you recognize that you started the spell but the interior has grown dark and twisted and you hear some sort of like footsteps on the outside and you can just faintly make out the shape of somebody looking at you and observing you through the darkness as this kind of dark black magic is filling the room and then there's like a, from a little bit of light being given off by for the protective ward you see this shape and outline of like a slender figure in like plate armor with these large like spanning almost like bat like wings coming off the top and spreading out and you see another figure as well a large heavily armored figure standing much taller than the other slender one wielding a great sword and weapon and then you see red, deep red dots, like bright red dots in their eyes. And then the spell dissipates. With the location of Bridget and the ability to hide from Riven, the party sets out heading to Midheim. Once again, Thane, thank you. We'll probably leave in the morning. All right.
Well, off to bed, little ones. Shoo. All right, so pleasant, one last pleasant night's rest inside Thane's Manor. And you all wake up in the morning, gather your belongings, and head south towards Brathorp. Until next Friday. Oh! oh! Damn! Oh, shit! And that's your legendary action recap. As always, thank you for stopping by and supporting our wonderful production. Catch our live streams Fridays at 7.30 PST to see a bunch of unapologetic nerds play the world's greatest role-playing game on Twitch at Legendary Action Official. Thank you, and have a magnificent evening.